Wednesday, everyone. How you all doing? Mr. White, Reaver in the house, Fortune Cookie, Avenged Matt. What is going on, everyone? Who were the two bosses you beat yesterday, Zef? We beat the Capra Demon first try of the day. It was like 15th try overall, but it was, yeah, first try of the day. And then we beat, I can't remember the name of it, but it was the boss in the sewers. It was like a dragon. We beat that one first try too. Man, that was crazy. Capra and Tooth that one yes that one <laughs> nice nice yeah the dragon didn't seem too difficult I, I got this I've been using this new weapon the Zwei hander I believe and I've been digging it it's it's very different from like Bloodborne or or even Demon Souls because in Demon Souls I mostly use the Claymore but yeah I switched to the Zwei hander and it's a lot slower but hits like a tank and I've been loving it yeah I am enjoying Dark Souls so far quite honestly avenged it took like the same thing happened with demon souls it took like a week or two for me to like stop getting frustrated and just kind of start like kind of getting the feel of it but once you get the feel of it it is so so much fun it really is cannot wait for snorlax and pikachu the rage is slowly loading <laughs> yeah it is so i'm really excited for those two I feel like a lot of people have said they're like extremely difficult though are those like the most are the pair of them are they like the two most difficult bosses in the game fortune um do you actually have like a particular boss you think is like the most difficult in the game yo irish man good morning good morning how are you doing today my friend welcome in cannot say but have fun with them gotcha 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 so they are extremely difficult and i'm gonna get my booty whooped wonder whether you'll target Snorlax or Pikachu first you know I don't know I feel like I'll probably die a lot so I'll probably try both of them I feel like Snorlax would I don't know you probably want to get P you probably want to lure Pikachu away from Snorlax and then fight Pikachu tr try to fight Pikachu one-on-one -on -one. Snorlax has best chest <laughs> oh my goodness yeah um I'm trying to think of a boss honestly the most difficult boss so far was probably capra demon that was just a total bs entrance into the boss and the thing that made that boss difficult is just because the arena is so small but who else the, the gargoyles oh my god when i saw there was a second gargoyle i was like dude this is this is demon souls all over again except in demon souls the pathway is so narrow and it's so easy to fall off Gargoyles are probably a little bit easier than than in Demon Souls. Found them okay to handle, but I had an obscenely powerful weapon, so that made things a lot easier. Yeah, 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 Mr. White. It was so narrow. That was that was a tough boss, honestly. D or the Souls game seems to do this, where they have like very big hitting strong bosses and very easy to die situations. So you're just like. Oh my goodness this is dark souls being dark souls yo king big my man good morning little pot champs hey how you doing today legend welcome in king i think i had the hardest time with the very last boss to be honest um gwen right gwen's the very last one right the king yeah he's big strong Ooh, playing final fantasy 9 hell yeah king don't answer I mean, I I pretty much know. I, I know the ending boss is yeah Gwen, and then there's I know a couple. There's like Kala Calum Calumet Calamet, some dragon that's pretty strong. Tonight is the Night King. It is as long as my MacBook wants to be okay. It took like 20 minutes just to load up today. I, I I'm I'm having a feeling I might. Oh oh my God, my entire oh okay. Hopefully nothing's moving literally all my screens just like shut off and shut back on this computer is going to blow up on me I swear all right let's put this back over here we'll just kind of let it do its thing hopefully are you wanting to work computer you want this as first playthrough stop asking questions I'm sorry I'm sorry is everything still working okay looks like everything's still working hopefully everything's still working Dude, this computer is going to blow up on me i swear yo hello now welcome in work lurking as usual but wanted to say hey i appreciate it i hope work is going outstanding sauce you are outstanding sauce you are amazing hope work is going awesome my friend and of course the mightiest of cheers to legendary king fink love you buddy 
maybe more coffee will help you're, you're right we should just pour our coffee all over the computer here come on coffee <laughs> maybe that oh my god here it goes again holy crap so i have my macbook connected to my old lg ultra wide monitor over here and i don't know if it's something with the display port or something but it keeps like turning the entire monitor off and turning it back on <sighs> i don't know man i don't know these computers i'm so done with computer tech problems i feel like i've been battling this forever loose cable i've i've swapped all the cables around i've take pulled them out put them back in i, I yeah i've tried everything i've tried different ports on them i don't know i don't know this tech problems all over coffee does solve all the problems you are a hundred percent right avenged uh especially if we pour it all over the computer right just throw the hammer at them, right, Helena? <laughs> Yo, goofy skater, my man. How you doing today, legend? Maybe it is time to buy a gaming PC fortune. I got the money. I got the site. I got everything preloaded. I just need the GPU to come back in stock. I'm checking like three times a day. Once it comes back in stock, immediately press the buy button. It's 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 coming i just gotta wait for it to come back in stock yes we just need the parts this is like the worst time ever to want to buy a pc or build a pc and it's like i like legitimately feel like i need it maybe settle for a secondary gpu secondary gpu what's a secondary oh like a used gpu you know i i i will be honest i have not looked at the used market for gpus I feel like the used market though, I would assume is probably so over expensive, right? The website I'm actually getting it from NZXT, they do like full pre-builds and everything. And the GPUs are like MSRP price. So they're actually like really good deal. You just have to pay a little bit more for the putting it all together. But I feel like I'd rather pay a hundred or 200 extra bucks than like double the price of a GPU, you know? Oh my God, here we go, here we go. All right, I'm gonna just close my laptop screen because I don't think that's working so we'll we'll just be chatting over on obs side over here hi obs how you doing oh my god everything is like super sized here. have y'all ever experienced this where you load up obs and for some reason all the font sizes are like massive so you have your regular obs and then just the fonts for everything are like like 96 font size or something they're like insanely big anybody ever experienced that Let's see, either used or maybe even what your second choice for a GPU would be. Yeah, it's it's honestly just trying to get them, trying to find them in stock. I have a 2070 super and work. Yeah, your, your setup looks great, Mr. White. I would totally go for a 2070 if I could. I can't find them though. Idea, buy a last gen GPU and once the current gen comes back into stock, use the last gen GPU for a PC for wifey, dude, king. That is some big brain thinking right there. I like that. I like that a lot she she doesn't like windows at all though so she like every time i like come to show her something on the computer she's like oh windows yuck i'm like it's it's like mac os it's pretty much like mac os except just a little different yo charizard welcome in buddy how you doing today yo kaylee welcome in my friend how you doing linux for wifey i guess i've actually never tried linux but i've always wanted to try it king um i'm i think i might install so boot camp comes on the macbooks i wonder if there's like a linux program built in there as well i don't think i don't think mac os supports linux the same way it does windows but i'd be down to try it yo wizard of lizard how you doing today is this a new game this is a new game yeah first playthrough um i'm excited i'm super excited are you wizard are you a pretty big uh dark souls fan i went pre-built and it worked out for me in my budget yeah that's what i'm trying to do fortune is try to find like a pre-built the website i'm looking at nzxt has like really solid pre-built so i just gotta wait for the parts to come back in stock i'm doing good how are you i'm doing amazing today kayla got some coffee got some good friends got some puppy dogs chilling wherever they're at ubuntu is a good dis yeah ubuntu is good so distro this is where my Linux knowledge falls short. Is Ubuntu like boot camp for the way boot camp is the tie to Windows? Is Ubuntu like the tie to Linux pretty much? I should just play Space Cadet. Ooh, Space Cadet Pinball. Hell yeah. And ZX puts out great fire hazardous comps. I have heard some of their some of their their cases have some problems for sure. 
they're also great about lying about it too uh i heard that they were like doing pretty good about like getting um returns and everything or like parts sent out for the eight what is it the h1 case so yeah space space pinball though i've never i've never heard of that before that sounds pretty cool is it like like an actual pinball game it wasn't the case they were sending out basically oh garbage pcbs that were short gotcha and then they tried lying about it i'll have to do a little bit more research for sure yo cajun welcome in legend how you doing today cajun hope you're having an awesome tacular morning cajun and Ale and wizard of lizard and king and fortune and mr white and the whole crew hope everyone is doing outstanding sauce yeah play breath of the wild hell yeah have you played any other soulsborne so i've played bloodborne and i've played demon souls and then um dark souls one is the one i'm playing now so first playthrough and uh i've been digging it it's very similar to demon souls kind of has that demon souls kind of vibe yo gga happy happy wednesday i always forget what day it is happy wednesday gga how you doing today what's it outstanding sauce you are what you are what's it outstanding sauce how you doing today legend good buddy i can't believe i was oh you are totally fine what matters is that you are here now my friend we got all the good vibes for you cajun so excited to have you hope you are doing absolutely stellar sauce beautiful human cajun is beautiful human absolutely indeed yeah uh Kayle, are you a pretty big soulsborne fan cajun pretty big soulsborne fan oh i'm sorry charizard distro is like a different company version of linux like how google's version of android is different than oh okay i immediately get that reference right away okay gotcha so it's like a different like skin on it pretty much no you <laughs> dude cajun how's your day going today you're doing great sipping some tea chilling with all you legends mr white you are too kind my friend I will cheers coffee to your beautiful tea. What kind of tea you're having? I could dig some like green tea. Green tea sounds really, really good. No good. Just working on my break now. Wanted to swing by. Dude, I appreciate it. How's work going today, GGA? How's your day going? I did the trilogy. Oh, a couple months ago. Hell yeah. Nice. Nice. Let's see. I've only played Bloodborne myself, but planning on tackling the others as well. Always a joy to watch though. They're intense they're very intense games but i feel like i feel like they're a roller coaster of emotions you know like i feel like the emotions soar to the sky when you beat the boss and then you're like raging wanting to break the game in half when you die and lose a ton of stuff so it's it's a very emotional roller coaster of a ride right yo is that easy peasy easy peasy welcome in how you doing today legend i'll probably i'm probably gonna do um a shorter stream today just because i do gotta open for work and i'm keeping like a hardcore eye on my battery for my computer to make sure it doesn't shut off again so probably do like about a 90 minute stream today so i'm excited hopefully we can i don't know even where we're going in dark souls i kind of wanted to figure out magic to see how magic works because i still haven't figured out magic at all in this game it's usually like yes i've beaten the boss and then you get wrecked by yes yes and you lose all the like hundred thousand souls you just won from the boss and you're like this is how we're gonna play dark souls this is dark souls at its finest right <laughs> let's see going good so far these past few days the weather has been beautiful oh same here gga is it like nice and sunny out there are you lovely people doing hope you have a good day at work staff easy bz i appreciate you you always bring love and always bring good vibes you are just an awesome tacular person easy beasy are you working at all today magic's a thing in dark souls is it i think it is right yo savage panda guten morgan my friend how you doing today panda dropping by for a lurk so i can eat breakfast for once Ooh, what you eating for breakfast i usually don't ever any of you like this i usually don't ever eat breakfast except sometimes like if I didn't feel like I ate enough for dinner the previous night, I wake up super hungry and then I'll usually eat breakfast. But do we got any other people in here that skip out on breakfast? Magic is not very popular in Dark Souls 1, but yes, try it out. Yeah, I think I wonder what you need. I know there's attunement. Attunement was a thing in Demon Souls, right? Is it something pretty similar? Yo, Cajun, what? Throwing out bitty love? What you doing? I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Cajun. All the damn love, my friend. Oh, is that moves? Moves. Breakfast is the more, most important meal of the day. No, Zaf, eat your breakfast. All right. I'm guessing we got a lot of breakfast lovers in here. 
I'm gonna try to do a magic playthrough this time. I've never tried it, so might as well see what it's like. Yeah, I think, Mr. White, weren't you saying you did a Pyromancer build? Been hot as fudge in New Mexico. Let's see, they went from winter to summer and totally skipped spring. That sounds like New Mexico, Utah. It sounds like a lot of that area for sure. <laughs> it gets, I mean, it's the desert, right? I haven't even breakfast in years, only on special occasions. Honestly, am I the only one that likes breakfast more for dinner than I do for breakfast? Like a breakfast meal for dinner is, is so damn delicious. Ooh, makes me want some barbecue, dude. I am so down for some barbecue. Hell yeah. Most days I don't eat. Yeah, I'm the same easy. I don't usually eat until lunch either. I don't know. Saves money that way too, right? <laughs> Yo, Chonky streams in the house. Chonky, welcome in. How you doing? Gotta stop lurking. Oh, I appreciate it, dude. Hopefully work is going amazing. <gasps> An ice cream assassin popping in with puppy treats. What? I love breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner is so damn good. Oh my God. Here she comes. She knows. She's like, give me treats. Hi, Layla. <laughs> Did you, do you, do you just know? Do you have like, do you just know when someone redeems puppy treats? <laughs> Here she comes. Here comes the queen bee. I love breakfast for dinner. Ooh, what did you have for breakfast last night? Ice cream. That sounds delicious. Yes, breakfast for dinner is always a winner in my book. All right, all right. So, ice cream assassin, as the claimy of the puppy treats, shall we do leave it? Shall we do catches? Shall we do gibbies? What's the plan? Layla. Look at me. Come here. Look at me. Come here. Ellie. Ellie. All right, what's the plan? Pete, dude, pizza for lunch is always good. Pizza is always amazing sauce. Hi, Ellie. Ellie, what you doing? Come here. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, some scrambled eggs. Yummy. Scrambled eggs with cheese are so good. What's the plan? Should we do leave it? <laughs> Ellie's like, nope. Ellie, come here. You don't ever leave it. Yeah, this is Ellie. This is Boogeyman. And this is Queen Bee Layla. We should do catches. Okay. Everybody keep an eye out. So many puppies. Yo, G, welcome in. Happy Wednesday. We got all the fluffy love here. They're, they're extra cute today. I mean, they're always cute. They're always cute. Okay, Ellie, you got this. Get it. Look at that cat. She's so good. <laughs> all right, Boogeyman, you see him? He's got autofocus locked on. Yo, Boogeyman, get it. Oh, oh, that was a that was a bad throw that turned into a good catch. All right, Layla. Come here. Come here. Oh, 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 do you see those eyeballs? She's like, give me the food. Give me the puppy treat. Mwah. All the love. Layla. Get it. Oh, those are good catches. They're pretty cute. They're pretty cute. Three golden retrievers. So much fluff so much love it's my life in a nutshell exactly exactly they're pretty cute booker's like what you're not making me leave it dude he's a, he is like a leave it champ i don't even know where he gets his leave it skills from but he is like a leave it champion exactly Ruff, all the puppy love yo it is wednesdays my dude it is we are halfway through the week my friend i'm in love Kille, you are absolutely welcome here, my friend. We got all the puppy love always. My goodness. Could you imagine if there was even more? Three golden retrievers is a handful. Could you imagine if there was like a fourth one that popped up? And then a fifth? And then a sixth? And then a seventh? And then an eighth? Ah! I need I would love I would love to live kind of like on a on a little ranch area and just have like a ton of dogs. I have like a baby German Shepherd. I have some baby Goldens. No, Goofy, dude. Our apartment would not, it would not fit them. Fortune, Fortune, get that out of here. I mean, so we technically were going to have a litter with them, um, but it just circumstances didn't work out. So, okay, buy a farm first, then get all the puppies. We'll just turn into a puppy streamer. How about that, everybody? We'll just turn into a pup, <laughs> pup streamer and we'll just hang out with the puppies all day. All the little fluffy golden retrievers running around. Get a horse for the apartment. I mean, King, I don't think I'd have to pay, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't have to pay car tags if I got a horse, right? 
right? Although I don't think the horse could quite keep up with the 60 mile per hour speed limit. Yeah, so, hmm. Unless we got a, a fast horse. Teach the doggos to play the games, then you can do the just chatting. That's what wifey's for. She she loves playing Animal Crossing, and then I just chat my mouth off. Yeah, screw Dark Souls. <laughs> this usually happens. I still want that state tier list. Oh my goodness. I could not see that. I feel like that wouldn't go well if I was like, Florida sucks or or Colorado's here or North Dakota's there. I just feel like that would not go too well, right? Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Hey, I mean, I mean, I, I should get that for a shirt for wifey. Oh my goodness. I want to see puppy German shepherds. We got to get Zach a puppy German shepherd, everybody. He's intrigued. He has mentioned that he wants to get a puppy. He wants to get a German shepherd. And he wants to name a gunner. Come on, everybody. Puppy gunner for Zach. Come on. Come on. Yo, we're doing some dad jokes. So since my computer's not, my um, laptop screen isn't working really kind of today at all. Let's see. I'll do it this way, Goofy. Let's see if this will work. Ah, maybe. Okay. Some dad jokes. Let's get the most cringe ones we can find, my friends. Let's get the ones that just oh gunner i know right isn't that so cute gunner i want dude a little corgi corgi's got corgi's got the cutest little booties i swear corgi booties a real thing everyone feel bad leaving home alone most of the day yeah that's 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 kind of the balance right like you want to get a fur friend but you want to make sure you can have time to spend with the fur friend yeah it's definitely a balance Yo, Kalei, feel bad for not popping in sooner. I know you're friends in a couple of legends, and now we get why they like you so much. I like the vibe here a lot. Not oh, I do appreciate it so much, my friend. Nothing but good vibes and good love for everybody. Good friends. That is absolutely what it's all about. A million percent. I will definitely cheers big to that, my friend. We do got a lot of legends in chat, absolutely for sure. Yo, Dark Phoenix, welcome in. We gotta get some dad jokes. We gotta get some dad jokes nothing but xp love okay everybody here we go why didn't the orange win the race because it ran out of juice mm, i guess my first time using an elevator was an uplifting experience the second time it let me down i actually like that that was a good one that was a good one <laughs> that was a good one one more one more why did the house go to the doctor it was having window panes sure i'll take them what oof oof zero out of ten. <laughs> zero out of ten sit bark stay bark let me pet you bark 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 ugh the dad jokes the dad joke pain is real right i mean it's kind of funny it's kind of funny okay i'm out again wait wait <laughs> i don't know sometimes we can get some funny ones yo but dark phoenix how you doing hope all is well i'm working so i'll be lurking have a fun stream sounds like a plan dark phoenix i super appreciate it thank you for the love thank you for popping in charlie as well welcome in my friend hope you are doing absolutely stellar sauce but um you know i have a go xlr and there's like a sample pad on it where i can like press and like a sound will go off i should have the drum but um I should have that one as one of the commands, right? I thought the elevator one was pretty okay. The elevator was an uplifting experience. Second time, it let me down. I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll take what we can get, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So I think we'll jump into some Dark Souls vibes. Watch the impending deaths incoming. I wanted to figure out how to use magic today. So we'll see kind of how that whole process goes um because i kind of really haven't figured out how to use magic too far yet let's see and i've actually learned to mute the game music when i do that so y'all don't have to hear the insanely loud whoosh sound at the damn beginning gee oh my boss came in and i missed the other puppies oh no gee you know what maybe we could get layla to come say hi for a moment layla oh she loves saying hi all right come here come say hi to g Say, G, you're amazing. Hope you have a magnificent day. All the puppy love. 
Layla loves the puppy love. All right, breakfast over. Got to get some stuff done. Need music to have energy too. So I'll be back. Sounds like a plan, Panda. Hope you have a kick ass rest of your day. Jam out some music. Do you have a death counter? I kind of did. And then we kind of forgot to use it because I was dying so much. <laughs> so kind of, but it's not exactly accurate. Does the game? Wait, actually, that's a good question. Does the game have an option where it tells you like how many deaths you have kind of like in demon souls is there like a death counter anywhere in the game do you know heather hangry heather welcome in legend how you doing today how is dark souls we just jumped into it like two seconds ago how's your day going so far heather i don't think so no death counter would be a good yeah with these games it would be a great idea so last boss we did was the one in the sewers right here the um the questionable name one that everyone has a fun name for but i can't i can't remember what the name of it was gee what gee what throw one out sub with prime oh my goodness g thank you seriously so much my friend i super appreciate you zeph i would recommend checking out pyromancy over spells miracles only because you haven't dumped many levels oh okay pyromancy doesn't scale with those stats i i don't think i really have yeah i think we've done faith intelligence a little bit attunement we should check out pyromancy it's going well i slept real good last night oh so i feel good yeah that is what it's all about out of lurk to say hi to hangry heather back to lurk now i love you zach love you heather i agree with king okay we should look into pyromancy how do we go about getting pyromancy though because I saw where we could buy the soul arrow from the guy down in New Londo, I think. And I think Miracles is from the guy at Fire Shrink. Fire Shrink? Fire Sh Shrine? Whatever. I don't know where the Pyromancy is, though. There's... Okay, is there not... There's not a way to fast travel at all in this game, right? Like, from Bonfire to Bonfire, that's not really a thing. Oh my goodness. Kalei, what? Throwing out some with Prime as well. Have my Prime. Oh my goodness. You both are so, so kind. G with the sub love. Clay with the sub love. All the love for both of you. All the love for everyone. I appreciate you both so much. Big cheers for you, my friends. Big cheers. I didn't even know you could do magic in Dark Souls. Yeah, you get... um. There's like soul arrows, right? Maybe look at the... Yeah, the Firelink Shrine. Okay. I think we'll go back there. Let's try to not die on the way, though. It's going to be the biggest challenge. <laughs> yeah, this enemy right out of the gate was like, no, not even. But this weapon, the Zweihander, I've been digging it. So for all of my Soulsborne fans in chat, for everybody that has played this game before, do y'all like the heavy and fast or like the heavy weapons that are slow or do you like the faster weapons that hit a little bit less yo spiffy staff welcome in with the epic lurk thank you so much my friend i hope you're having an awesome awesome wednesday fast travel is the thing you can do but not okay not till later on i do like games that have fast travel it's a nice little element you know usually go for the slow and clunky weapons i like the fasty fast weapons yeah so in Bloodborne, I've been messing around with the Chicago. I think that's how it's pronounced, Chicago, And it is so much fun. But I've been digging this one in Dark Souls. You know, I feel like maybe it kind of fits the the slow and patient style a bit. Reminded me of Ludi's Ho Holy Blade. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, what even is going on, y'all? Dude, Agortasm, did you just start a hype train? What even? Much love and mad respect, my dude. Love you, Zaf, dude. Agortasm, you are too kind, my friend. Nothing but big love for you as well. Thank you so much for the bitty love. I appreciate it. Started a hype train. Oh no, y'all. Oh boy. What's it in the house? Throw it out, bitty love. What even, y'all? <laughs> Thank you seriously so much, What's it? I appreciate you. Agortasm, I appreciate you. Y'all are just legends. Left and right. I don't even know what to say, y'all. I'm just trying to get out of here and y'all are going to try to break me before I even get out of the sewers. <laughs> I do like the slow and the slow and uh, clunky weapons though, King. I've been digging it. I, I didn't like it too much in Bloodborne, but Bloodborne was also faster paced, right? 
whereas dark souls is a little bit more of that oh my god well well so much for running past them okay never mind never mind damn we just got our face smashed in right there <laughs> dude what even yo commander marty in the house with the epic follow welcome in marty how you doing today thank you so much for the follow you are having an awesome awesome day my friend my favorite weapon of bloodborne was the giant pizza cutter dude i still haven't even tried that weapon king the um the what is it the gig saw the world gig saw dude Gortasm, what are you doing what you doing throwing out more bitty love the whirly gig yes that one fortune the whirly gig that one was pretty fun <laughs> what's it what's it yo cleric uk in the house how you doing today buddy oh fortune with the epic host i appreciate you fortune thank you so much for the host for the love for always being your amazing self same for the whirly gig is amazing i haven't tried it the regular version of it without when it's not in pizza cutter mode it's like it's like kind of a mace right that is something i do kind of miss you know when i'm when i was playing bloodborne yesterday i was just kind of playing it to play it kind of thing i noticed i was using the l1 button for like defending like that's not a thing in bloodborne i guess playing through dark souls now i'm just kind of thinking about bloodborne in like a dark souls kind of way you know oh no 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 uh oh oh my god no doing well just quick stop by while at work hell yeah i hope work is going amazing for you oh my god what's it what are you doing ah totally timed that perfect what's it oh my god okay maybe we just got to be patient maybe we just got to be patient through here dude what are you doing what's it thank you so much for the bitty love man i appreciate you you the best i know mr white okay we got to stop running through there we probably just got to be patient uh i got my ass assassinated right there <laughs> doing well just quick stop by yeah oh while at work i so i might king and i are going to be doing our pod well i mean i mean actually i didn't say any of that whoever someone's going to be on my podcast tonight and um we're going to be having some good conversations later tonight <laughs> um Whoever's gonna be on there, I'm incredibly excited for it, shall we say. God, I, I my mouth is way too big for my own good. I wonder who it could be. I wonder. I wonder. I do wonder indeed. Maybe a different king? Where are they again? <laughs> but I'm incredibly excited for whoever is going to be on the podcast. You both have veggies. I I, I actually don't have it. We do have veggies. But I, I usually don't have any veggies for the podcast. That would probably, uh, that would probably melt my brain a little bit too much. But I do have a delicious brew. I like the brews, you know. We had like, what did we have last week? I think we had like a, a hazy IPA with like some tangerine in it. And it was so good. It was like a tangerine IPA goodness. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. real good oh my god there's so many of them dude why is there so many of them oh my god there's so many of them bro bro okay run i won't be having veggies but i do have awesome apple juice same king i like the way you think what kind of apple juice do you got do we got any apple juice fans in chat i like i like an ipa honestly According to Discord, it is national. Wait, no, Zach. Say it isn't so. Is that true? Super strong carcass. Ooh. Is that the name of a brew, Marty? That sounds intense. Oh, with torch. Oh, in Dark Souls. <laughs> I'm like, is that a name of a? Is that a name of a brew? Hard cider should have gotten beer for today. Yo, hard sorry, cider's good. <laughs> I feel like with cider though, it's so sweet, right? Off to the shop to get beer. Discord says so. I like the way you think, cleric. Absolutely. What kind of what kind of brew are you getting? Ooh. Oh, is wait. 
is that the name of a real apple juice super strong carcass yo i actually like really smell i like legitimately really smell veggies burning is somebody burning veggies at 7 49 a.m in the morning that is maybe that's a bit too early gotta go get some hardcore apple juice now too you got the motion in my mind cider is super sweet but they do have like pale ciders Let's see that are sweet Ooh. wifey and i went to like a cider fest a few years ago where they just had a ton of different ciders and oh it was so good we were stumbling on our way home oh that's me sorry damn that is some uh that is some potent veggies you got there king traveling hundreds of miles away but for real we, like all the neighbors around us like literally every single neighbor around us they all they all burn the washingtonian veggies we'll go out like take the pups out at like 9 a.m 10 a.m after the stream and it's just it smells strong and i'm like man you got y'all are getting up early that's a little too early for me <laughs> yo z yada so far today has seemed like an excellent reason to indulge in day drinking i mean i won't cheers to that but maybe a little cheers to that yo z how's your day going so far buddy welcome in legend i feel like i've never been a day drinker like there's something about i don't know alcohol for me always is like a, a bringer of down you know it kind of like mellows me out a little bit so like I, I, it's more of a nighttime thing for me for sure 4 p.m time for veggies <laughs> some broccoli some green beans okay we got to the firelink shrine we made it and the hype trade was completed y'all if you got some choo-choos show me what choo-choo you got what do we get oh my gosh is this your first dark souls this is my first time playing dark souls one marty but i have played bloodborne and demon souls before this i'm a fan of food and great flavors fortune has the right idea food and great flavors is always a good time literally every meeting today could have been an email other than that doing great how goes the murdering it's going pretty well so far i hate meetings that are like that though z those are the worst i've had some early morning meetings where it's literally just reading off an email and i'm like what is the point of this just what is the point the only time i day drink is on the 4th of july i mean uh, i just could never get into day drinking but i will say if i'm gonna day drink kind of get in that mentality i'd probably be more for for the veggies you know then dark souls 2 and dark souls 3 i'm thinking we'll do dark souls 3 next marty and then after that i think we'll do probably sekiro i think i might save dark souls 2 for the end everyone kind of has very strong opinions on dark souls 2 i kind of want to go i kind of want to go straight to dark souls 3 everyone says dark souls 3 is amazing Mm. oh i'm sorry i'm sorry reaver i've heard you mention watching videos before i actually have no idea what that is is it alcohol it is marijuana <laughs> are hot dogs a sandwich are hot dogs a sandwich i think they are right uk we pre-drink before we pre-drink <laughs> uh, i would say don't listen to people find out for yourself and form your i agree i do agree Hello. but dark souls 2 is so thick you right when you have you materials? okay this this friend yeah he has a soul arrow and the catalyst we do have a catalyst king what were we coming for here again my brain just i'm trying to remember we came all the way down here i think we're trying to figure out magic right i would do dark souls 3 after dark souls 1 so you can appreciate the world and the lore yo pixie welcome in how you doing today are you liking dark souls it is a ton of fun it is kicking my booty but it is a ton of fun so far how's your day going though pixie yo cat welcome in how you doing my friend welcome in legends let's see good idea dark souls 2 stories after interesting so dark souls 2 story comes after ds3 story so really best way to do it would be ds1 ds3 and then ds2 Gotcha, gotcha. I'm done with the Souls game. I think it's not fun. Well, Dark Souls 2. Don't give up, Zach. You got this, my man. You got this. And I'm going to start with some Final Fantasy 6 hype. Hell yeah, Goofy Skater. You have a kick ass stream, my friend. Thank you for the lurk and always showing love. 
hope you have an amazing rest of your day legend i'm doing good how are you i am doing stellar sauce i think we're gonna go fight should we do should we go try to take on the ghost king what do you think about that i think the pyromancer oh was that fire link okay we're going the wrong way let's go back to fire link good to hear dude have you played any of the other from software games so my day is good just enjoying some breakfast Ooh, what kind of breakfast do you got yeah so i've played um bloodborne and demon souls before so this is my third Soulsborne game but first time playing it so yes all the welcomes all the welcomes for cat for pixie for everybody hopefully everyone is having a stellar day so far you all are beautiful and do not forget it you get a lot of people that come in and i'm like so glad you're playing ds2 so many people hate it i always try a game and finish it before i would say i love the game or not it's my cup of tea i think the other thing is i'm thinking fortune is dark souls 2 is so thick like it's a thick game and i take forever completing games because i talk so much so maybe a shorter game wouldn't be a bad idea you tried playing ashen zeph i don't know if i've ever heard of ashen before what kind of game is it all right pyromancer do we talk to him for pyromancer yo oh my goodness okay Coley, welcome in my friend found your page on the recommended oh hell yeah welcome in hope you're doing absolutely incredible today Coley. you are absolutely welcome here play dark souls 3 bloodborne sakira want to start demon souls soon never tried ds1 though yo demon souls was good it was a lot of fun the graphics on it were like really good it's as thick as final fantasy games to be honest Did you see her that virtuous little maiden complete with followers in tow complete with followers in tow straight to pillage graves i've heard enough about the lady for a lifetime i don't know if i saw this person who does he speak of who does he speak of yo mercury welcome in how you doing today legend you're having an amazing amazing day mercury coward having some breakfast very relaxing morning so far Ooh. do y'all okay here's a question do we do we just get a new estus flask nice do y'all shower at nighttime or do y'all shower in the morning? Do we have any opinions about that? Yo, half eaten lemons with the epic follow. Welcome in, my friend. Thank you so much. How you doing today? Is the souls like, but not as difficult? Okay, kind of like um kind of like Code Vein and Neo. Nighttime shower, both? Why not both, right? I love I love me some showers. I love your stream thus far and haven't ooh played any Dark Souls yet. I appreciate it, Coley. We got nothing but love and good vibes and positivity and friendships and all that good stuff. That is absolutely what it's all about, my friend. Whatever fits my daily schedule. Yeah, I'd say that. I'd say that morning, morning, nighttime shower, nighttime showers with some warm shower kind of can ease me into bed. Honestly, y'all, if you take a hot shower and then drink some like lavender chamomile tea afterwards, it's just it's like heaven in a blanket as a kid i was only at night but as an adult been only in the morning yeah it helps it does yeah same agortasm totally helps me get going for the day it depends what i'm doing and what i've done in the day is there anything pyromancer related here king do you know i go trace the people so be lurking my dude have fun sounds like a plan cleric thank you so much for the lurk i appreciate you oh hot bass oh my goodness where we used to live pixie we had like a jetted tub that was so amazing and like wifey and i could take baths together with like bubble baths and oh my goodness if y'all ever get the chance to get a jetted tub it is life-changing it's so good yo cat meeting time i must lurk hey, you have an epic epic meeting if if meetings can be epic <laughs> oh whoa okay oh whoa oh woo okay there's more people here are these the pyromancer people i have a dream of getting a jet oh they're so good they're so good where is this pyromancer elon musk says ds3 has some epic bosses bloodborne ds3 have the most memorable bosses yo my favorite boss is probably in any game ever it's probably mm. bloodborne mm. Mm. sounds like my wife snoring <laughs> hopefully she didn't hear that <laughs> wow 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 okay okay 
dj anime in the house with the host how you doing today dj bloodborne dlc was probably my favorite oh i totally agree the bloodborne dlc was so good it, it, ludwig lady lady maria is probably like my favorite boss i fought in years you are undead as well we've no time to fraternize i have my mission and you no doubt have yours we must not is this the pyromancer person okay did i not explain the urgency of our tasks or not really so uncouth is to lack such judgment by the looks of you i should think not okay dark souls action beautiful yo starfish in the house how you doing yeah lady Mar lady Marie was my favorite lady Marie was such a fun boss battle yo ludwig was epic cause i actually really liked um orphan of cause i thought that was a great great boss battle it was so intense lady maria is a bad at yeah lady maria is like 10 out of 10 out of 10 dlc it, this is pretty good too yo valhalla outcast welcome in how you doing today you a final fantasy fan bro final fantasy is my favorite series of all time of all time coley so honestly though dark souls is creeping up there it's good tried cause last night to get the hang of him and i want to cry i don't know if i can do it you totally can heather you absolutely can it's all about dodging to the left and then like keeping an eye on like where he's gonna attack but like totally totally can it's 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 a good dance have a good one legends f take care y'all due to gortasm you have an awesome 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 appointment i appreciate you my friend much love agoratasm living failures living failures were interesting okay I guess they don't like me very much so far. Oh, hello. All about getting good at it. <laughs> I will be departing with them shortly. So I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye. Soon. Wait. It was a pleasure. Wait. Doesn't he sell miracles? I didn't think I bought any oh, of the miracles. Miracles? I, I don't think I bought any of the miracles. Oh, no. Yo, Fatal in the house. How you doing today, Fatal? Happy Wednesday. Cause was so tough for me. My first playthrough, he took me like nine hours. To... Isn't it so fascinating how for some people, certain bosses are so difficult for them and then other bosses that are like really easy, other people find super difficult. I got Orphan of Cause on my second try and then I got Ludwig like what? Second try? and lady maria first try like i thought they were all pretty decent pretty easy and like everyone but then like amygdala took me like 20 tries abritas took me like 20 tries the two of them like smashed my face and hard have you fought sif yet Seth? if not i will say no more i have not fought sif but i think isn't sif the wolf wait maybe no spoilers i think sif is the wolf but i have not fought sif yet same final fantasy my favorite series of all time i don't display that to the public as much oh what what lolly in the house and we being raided by cyanide sugar what yo i see jp i see jp okay we'll go to we got to go to just chatting my friends yo august gun is in the house how you doing my friend oza welcome in how you doing today sugar cyanide sugar what is going on my friend how you doing today what were you, pl were you playing final fantasy 8 were you playing final fantasy 8 hold on let's see let's see what were we playing cyanide sugar let's see how could we get an epic shout out my friends for legendary oh hold on hold on we're playing hollow knight okay i'm like typing it out but then my keyboard's not working hold on epic epic shout out for cyanide sugar what what oh and hand off the bay in the house welcome in hand off how you doing today how you doing cyanide sugar how's everyone doing y'all how are we all doing today i guess I guess we're we're going to the just chatting for a moment. Hollow Knight is Hollow Knight is such a fun game. Hollow Knight is so good. It's so tough though. Love the stream, yo, Ozavatar. I love you, my friend. You are absolutely always welcome here, my friend. How you doing today? Please don't answer us questions about Dark Souls One unless he asks for if he is doing his first playthrough. He is just thinking out loud. 
I can never shut up from thinking out loud. That's all I do is think out loud. <laughs> I appreciate you though, Fortune. Yo, oh my goodness, Coley with the follow as well. Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Good, lovely to see you and the lovely peeps here. All the love for you, Handelf. All the love for every single beautiful person here. All the love for Cyanide Sugar. An incredible, incredible streamer. If you all could do me a big solid right now, go drop Cyanide Sugar. Some epic follow love. She's incredible. She does a lot of speed running of Final Fantasy VIII. And I know we got some big Final Fantasy fans here. Um, I've seen her and JP do kind of like a Final Fantasy race speed run together. And it's so much fun. So y'all, thank you again. Seriously, so much for the epic raid. I greatly appreciate it. We got big love here for Final Fantasy. So if you like Final Fantasy, definitely epic follow needs to be dropped, my friends. Oh my goodness. Oh, Yo, Black Sage Zelos with the epic follow. Can confirm Side Night Sugar's Bay. All the love. Absolutely. Hands down. Yeah, the Pop Cat. No, that's not Pop Cat. That is Cat Jam, right? This one is Pop Cat. We love some Pop Cat around here. Yo, 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 Zelos. Welcome in. She taught me everything I know about Final Fantasy VIII speedruns. Yes, didn't you get a new personal best? Didn't you get a new personal best, Cyanide Sugar? Like, I saw it on your Twitter a few days ago, right? Oh, Zavatar, what? What? Are you subbing as well? Oh my goodness, what even? I followed for the Final Fantasy content. You will not be disappointed. We got mad love for Final Fantasy friends. If you like Final Fantasy, if you like some Soulsborne, if you just like having fun and having a good time, that is what it's all about. Ooh, trying Final Fantasy VIII now. How are you liking it so far? Final Fantasy VIII is is interesting. I I play I enjoyed it a lot. It's not maybe not my favorite of the series, but I think it's really good. The music in it though is like probably top three video game soundtracks I've like ever heard in my life. It's it's so good. Yeah, it's weird. The the junction system's a little interesting, right? See, I need to start routing for a Final Fantasy X speedrun in the future. Always wanted to speedrun 10. Yo, 10 is a huge game. How long do you think it would take to speedrun 10? Yeah, top one. Oh my goodness. By the way, I, I saw that. I think it was you that posted something about someone like speedrunning a final or a RPG game and like didn't get it. I, I saw that tweet and that was so... That was a weird tweet. That was someone was like giving Cyanide Sugar on Twitter crap about speedrunning an RPG. Yeah, it was the weirdest thing. Like you can speedrun literally any game that you want, you know? Honestly, speedrunning RPG games is like a whole other level of difficulty. Cause not like it's one thing to speedrun like a one hour game, but like it's totally something else to speedrun like a 10 hour game. That, I don't know how you keep the focus, keep the attention, keep the, the tightness. Like, that is next level awesomeness, my friend. That's amazing. Prior them for harassment, so all good now. It's the way we got to go sometimes. The man explained what happened. <laughs> you can play games as you want. Absolutely. I totally agree. My top Final Fantasy is 10 and 10 2. Yo, I love, I do love Final Fantasy 10. 10 2 is a bit. I'd say middle of the road. I love the dress sphere system of 10-2. I'm not super crazy about the story though, but 10-2 is really, the, it's so fun to play. You know, it's kind of like Dark Souls where it's just like the gameplay of it is so addicting. Yeah, you have to speed run to get that knight. Oh, right. Yeah, Um, Steiner's, what is it? The Excalibur 2? I think it's the Excalibur 2 and you have to get it in what? Like under 13 hours or something? Stutter step through the Final Fantasy Night speedrun. Has anybody here ever actually done the the jump roping skip in Final Fantasy IX? You need to like skip jump ropes a thousand times. I I that and the 200 lightning bolt dodges on Final Fantasy X is just like never gonna happen. No, nope, nope. <laughs> Did a Final Fantasy IX a long time ago, beat the game in around wow, 11 hours. Hell yeah. How much of Blight Town did I miss? Fatal. So we haven't got to Blight Town yet. Um, let's see. Yeah, we haven't got to Blight Town yet. Uh, we did visit it a second yesterday, I think. Um, we'll probably have to wait for Blight Town tomorrow just because I do got to open today. So I won't be able to stream as long as I normally would. Oh, everybody says that though. Cyanide Sugar, like, oh, Blight Town. You went for uh, you went for some pain. There's a version of the jump rope minigame in record keeper. Oh, 
No, 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 no. Steve, I tried the other day and got 91 before I said forget it. Right? Right? Oh my goodness. What? Dark Phoenix with the prime sub. Oh my goodness, my friend. Thank you seriously so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you so much, my friend. He gets back to work, but here's the sub. Have fun, Zef. Only big love for you. Hope you have an epic, epic time at work. You are amazing. Dude, JP, yes. How are you doing today, my friend? Hope you are doing absolutely incredible, Sauce. 10 hours is the speed run world record for Final Fantasy X. Man, that's crazy. How is the PC behaving these days? Dude, it's 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 driving me crazy. Yeah, like it's it's been cutting on and off between like switching or like powering the display and everything so i have a whole pc that's like literally in my cart on this website i just gotta wait for the gpu to come back in stock or a good gpu to come back in stock once that happens pulling the trigger we're gonna buy a kick-ass pc and i'm i'm so ready for it uh, streaming off of a macbook pro everybody i mean it works but does it really work does it really work? Meh. I don't know. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Gaming PC in 2022? No. Gaming PC April of 21. April of 21, Fortune. It's going to happen. It is absolutely going to happen. It has to happen. Come again. Let's see. Oh, just followed on TikTok. What? What? Go, oh, DJ. I haven't, um, I haven't uploaded as much on TikTok as I'd like to. I feel like with TikTok, I kind of don't know what to upload. Like, do y'all post like just your clips on TikTok? Part of me was like, I, I like, should we just post clips on TikTok? I kind of just want to make like original, like original content for TikTok, but I'm so, I'm so like, I don't know. Anybody else out there big into TikTok? Cyanide Sugar, JP, Heather, Oh, I'm too much, too much of a, too much of a boomer. Heather, I think you're young. I think you're like my same age. Wait, you're like, you're like 30, right? Zach and his woes. No, no, no. Zach and his woes. <laughs> uh, tick, what? Have a wonderful stream. Ozavatar with the lurk. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming in with the raid and the love and cyanide sugar again. Thank you for the epic raid. I greatly appreciate it. Yo are amazing. Everybody that came in, you all are amazing. Nothing but big love for everybody. I'm an old man. What even, is this what's happening now? Is it like right when we hit 30 years old, everyone's like, I'm so old. You're not old at all. I have a love hate relationship with Dark Souls. I feel that. I feel that a lot. <laughs> Don't put me in the thirties just yet. I'm over 30. Gonna head to bed too, JP. Have fun with the rest of the stream. It is always a pleasure seeing you, my friend. You are amazing. Seriously, y'all, if you have not given August Gun JP and Cyanide Sugar epic follows, two incredible Final Fantasy VIII speedrunners, and JP's playing Chrono Cross right now, and it looks really, really, really cool. But definitely give JP epic follows if you got a minute. Definitely give Sugar epic follows. Just big love for both of you, my friends. He's just, just a, I mean... I'm definitely a proponent, Zach, that you can be 50 years old and feel like you're 20 and you can be 20 years old and feel like you're 50 and everything in between, right? Yeah, I haven't really played much Chrono Cross. It looks really cool, though. All right, I'm, to I'm totally sorry for getting off a pyromancy topic. How, wh where do we go for the pyromancy again? Yeah, Kyle and I are over 30. When you wake up with aches, you know you're getting old. I mean... It's I, def I, I was waking up with aches when I was like 20. <laughs> it was also probably from drinking though. So drinking will age you faster. I'm a parent, so I always feel old. I'm a, I'm a pup parent. So when my pups are, are sick in the middle of the night, I feel old. I'm 26. Mentally, I feel like four. Physically, I feel like 80 fatal. I feel that in my soul. I'm trying to remember where to go. So I... I don't, I don't think I know where Pyromancer friend is. So maybe we'll just go down to the ghost area. We'll give the ghost a shot. Puppy tees are puppy tees. Oh, Lolly Lichen. Oh my God. Lolly Lichen. I think Lolly redeemed pup tees right as we got raided. Oh, Lolly. Lolly, are you still here? Lolly, are you still here? My friend shout out big shout outs for legendary Lolly Lichen. Y'all. 
Lolly, are you still here? Love you so much to pieces. I'm sorry I missed that. Look behind this guy, maybe. What kind of streamer is this? I know, Zach. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know nothing. A year streaming and I still... I still haven't perfected it. No, I left, Lolly. Don't leave. You the bestest. Okay. You know what? Well, we got to do some puppy treats on Lolly Lichen. So, as Clay Me of said puppy treats, hi, hi, girls. Should we do leave it? Should we do Gibbies? What's the plan, Lolly? Look at Ellie. She's like, please give me all the puppies. Give me all the puppy treats. She's excited. Thank you so much, wifey, by the way. Hope your morning's going good. Hope the coffee's delicious. Double because you forgot. Where is the boy? I think the boy is chilling with wifey in bed. Boogie man. Boogie man, where's the boy? Oh, Gibby's because you forgot and left them waiting. I mean, okay. Boogie man, okay. Ellie got one. Boogie man got one. Should we do double because we forgot? Zeph is a bad doggy dad. Why you gotta throw me under the bus like that fortune? I thought we were friends. Should we do a double on Zeph? Give me a round of puppy treats and make it a double. Okay. Okay. We'll do a double. Layla. But I get to decide this one. For this one, we'll do we'll do some leave it. <laughs> All right. Boogie man, come here. Come here. All right. You leave it. Leave it. I hope you remember to feed them this morning. I, I always remember to feed them. I'm good about giving them fresh water. I'm good about giving them food. You leave it. I see you puppy dogs. You leave it. Boogie is killing us with the side. He always has side eye. Boogie man is side eye king over here. You leave it, buddy. I feel like my camera is like extra not in focus today. Maybe that's just me. Oh, you leave it. And. Anticipation. Get <laughs> Okay. Ellie. Ellie. All right, let's try it. Let's just try it. Ellie. Leap. Ellie. Le Jeez. And then she like halfway jumps up like, come on, come on. Leap. Ellie. Ellie is the smartest. She, she's like, my my name can be Ellie. Dude, that is 100% Layla. Layla's like, whoever's treat is next, I can definitely be that dog. Do you Do you see her? She's waiting for the interception. Just for that, we got to do catches. Okay. Belly bug. Get it. <laughs> they are babies, Kalei. They're pretty cute. Do you see this one over here? She's drooling all over the desk over here. Crimin! Welcome in, Crimin. How you doing today, my friend? Super Mergentroid in the house. Dude, welcome in, Rockstar. How you doing today, Super? The Super in the house. How you doing, man? Playing the best game on Twitch. Just chatting. Just chatting for the win, right, Super? Zeph, did you get them all at the same time? Are they from the same litter? So they're actually from different litters. Um, the Ellie we got in Seattle. Layla we got in like right outside Los Angeles. And then Booker we got in like Northern California. So yeah, pretty stinky at the moment, not gonna lie. Oh, I hope you get a good shower then, Grimmin. Yo, it's fancy seeing you here. We got mad love for the legend known as Super Mergen Troid, an absolute rock star. Pretty cute. Hey, yo, who's the oldest? So, El oh, so Layla. So we got Ellie at eight weeks. We got Layla at like 12 weeks. Um, but technically Layla is a little bit older. Sleepy bear. Yo, dude. Um, yes. So Layla is about two weeks older than Ellie. I think Layla's like July 16th or June 16th is her birthday. Ellie is July 1st. And then Booker is like February time. So they're all like right around the same age. They're all pretty cute. Doing great. Just falling out of bed, getting coffee. How are you? Dude, I will cheers big time for you, my friend. 
cheers for the coffee cheers for the legend known as retro reaper you are the rock star my friend yo is it yeah we got so many legends in here pixie we got super we got retro reaper is in the house sleepy bear how are you doing how's your wednesday going my friend so i think because we only got a couple minutes left of the stream we'll just we'll just finish off with some just chatting so hopefully y'all forgive me for the the lack of dark souls plays today <laughs> see you beautiful soul fortune is a beautiful soul fortune is amazing sauce all the legends left right center mr white in the house dude how how many tries did it take you i did want to ask mr white how many tries did it take you to, de to defeat what was it dark eater madir that dragon that crazy dragon i've um i've i've read a couple of articles on like the most difficult soulsborne bosses in the whole series and and madir is like top five every single time so i look like a really tough boss battle okay just thank you for thinking oh you amazing fortune everybody if y'all do not know who fortune cookie is i mean it just popped up the timer just went off right there but seriously none of this would be possible without just the utmost incredible mods in the entire world so nothing but big love for every single one of you y'all make this possible every single day gosh was like 30 was rough was that the most ones in the whole game mr white was that like the most tries on a boss in your whole ds3 playthrough i need to play ds3 oh i i, I mean i'm saying nothing trick to me dear poison oh i'm saying nothing 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 after me up pretty hard too <laughs> oh my goodness uh yeah i think so fortune is going to be playing dark souls 3 after ds2 right or are you going to be playing final fantasy after dark souls 2 madir yeah madir looked really really intense it, like just the big the big enemies honestly king like they i always struggle so much with the big bosses versus like the tiny ones like the the more human ones like i always, I always thought abritas and amygdala were super difficult and lawrence super difficult but like i never thought lady maria was tough orphan of cause wasn't that bad you know it's like the bigger ones are more chaotic i feel like yo creeping reeking in the house dude how is your day going my friend i know he lurking but have a fantastic stud hey i will dig it son of e in the house welcome in e playing souls born in order i'm 70 percent complete in dark souls 2 then on to ds3 you are going to just crush straight through it fortune i'm excited for you stream stud no you are good you are you are totally fine creeping reeking love you to pieces my friend i hope you're having a stellar day i always get scared of panic right because they like flail and like hit everywhere and i mean even like the one reborn it was not a tough boss battle but it, because of the chaos of it you're just like i don't know I, same exact way king kind of gets scared and panic a little bit so yeah the super Murgantroy. do you think you'll ever play any of the Soulsborne games has there is there anybody here actually that has not played any of the Soulsborne games I know Zach's played Fortune's playing King's played Mr White's played anybody that has not played any of the Soulsborne games at all I have not played any DJ what do you think when you see people play the Souls games do you kind of like knock at it because it's 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 pretty intense. The games are tough. Soulsborn, Soulsborn died twice are amazing. E popping in with the dad jokes. I actually got it preloaded up right here. Well, the doubt DS3 was my favorite. I've played like 10 minutes of DS1 and that's it. What made you want to stop playing Dark Souls 1, Charizard? Yo, E, okay, okay. I need a password eight characters long. So I picked Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Okay. I needed a password eight characters long, so I picked Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What if anybody's actually ever done that? That would be a long ass password. <laughs> Wait, I'm actually dying. Eight characters, you right, right? My boss told me to attach two pieces of wood together. I totally nailed it. Oh my god. These jokes have me dying had me dying so much most of that added to a dark souls boss was ds1 asylum demon took 50 tries till i noticed the door oh no yo fatal that same thing happened to me when i was playing little nightmares there's an enemy where it's like 
getting crushed i think and it like keeps trying to grab you anybody remember that enemy and i must have got caught like 50 times to that before i was like oh you gotta just go over here gotcha 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 the tutorial boss i'm glad i started with bloodborne the mechanics are in the fast paceness yes seriously y'all if you have never tried a soulsborne game and you want to get into one i would definitely recommend bloodborne bloodborne is not only the best soulsborne game i've played so far it's like one of the best games i've played period it is so fun so addicting the world is incredible to wander through the enemies are really fun the parrying mechanic is amazing oh dude christmas cthulhu i have not played sekiro yet but i've heard a lot of loves for sekiro if i played a souls game there would be too much rage but honestly dj dj that's kind of the fun of it because like you rage when you die but then you want to just like cheer to the heavens when you when you win it's a it's a very it's a roller coaster of emotions and some people don't like that roller coaster of of emotions and some people love it you know if you're a Soulsborne fan and you haven't tried Sekiro, I would. It is a great break from the normal formula and it is a great game. Yeah, it has a lot of um, it has a lot of like story elements to it, right? Sekiro isn't a all oh, it isn't a Soulsborne, in my opinion. I feel like a lot of people say it is. What makes it not a Soulsborne, in your opinion? Fatal Sekiro rules hard. I'm okay at parrying, so I might be okay at Sekiro, maybe. Yeah, I haven't tried parrying at all in this game, Fortune, uh, and I'm sure that's gonna come to bite me in the butt soon. Paying in Sekiro is easier than in Souls games. Yeah, because I think you're parrying with the sword, right? You're not parrying with a shield. There's no there's no real shield in Sekiro, right? Parrying is a must mechanic in Sekiro, so I think they adjusted gotcha to make it easier. Interesting. Oh, there's no stamina bar? And the health doesn't matter really? Interesting. Interesting. The health doesn't matter really. Pairing and reposting in Dark Souls 1 is nice. I like how it gives you more time if you mess up on Quake. Yeah, I feel like Dark Souls in general is, is very patience driven, which is kind of why I like the heavy weapons so much. It's very, I don't want to say slow, but kind of like very slow and patient. You know, you need to time things a little bit better than maybe in Bloodborne. Pairing and Skira is just timing when you block. Gotcha. Oh, it does add jump. What? games that don't have a jump button just drive me bananas charizard like i don't know what it is but like every time i play a game and it doesn't have a jump button i just always notice it doesn't have a jump button and it just kind of i don't know just kind of drives me crazy same with like when i started playing um breath of the wild every game after breath of the wild is like why can't i just climb everything and just paraglide off everything <laughs> breath of the wild was amazing at that what does dark souls doesn't have soul music you know matt i i really do agree um i do wish that there was more music in the souls games because coming from like final fantasy and zelda and just like all those other titles there's music everywhere like every time you go to a new area there's new music there's like just music scattered all throughout the world and in dark souls games it's just there's like no music at all what oh my goodness this is a raid what in the world Getchen in the house as we were literally just talking about Sekiro we were literally just talking about Sekiro a moment ago yo is that chief little pa in the house yo not your khakis welcome in terrible tofu welcome in my friends wild wolf in the house yo how we all doing smitty mcgee stick knockwell how we all doing it's a raid it's a raid hype welcome in raiders for anybody new here my name is zephyr we were just playing some dark souls a moment ago and now we're just chatting about love life and souls born <laughs> we're actually literally just talking about Sekiro a moment ago um yo not your khakis ahmed thank you both so incredibly much for the epic follows my friend i super appreciate it hawkeye welcome in hawkeye with the follow bean warrior dude bean welcome in how you doing today bean stick knockwell welcome in everybody how we all doing my friends um we're just jamming we're just hanging out we're just vibing a little bit talking about some dark souls love dude christmas with the lurk thank you so much my friends we were just playing dark souls a moment ago almost 39 minutes ago i mean that's that's what it is though just chatting with a little sprinkle of gameplay right this is pretty much a just chatting stream with like some sprinkles 
of gameplay here and there but for anybody also that does not know I think a lot of y'all know Getchen here but if you do not know Getchen she is an incredible streamer she is just full of love and positivity literally every single time we go in her stream she is so smiley and so wonderful she plays a lot of Soulsborne games um playing like God of War playing Sekiro right now so I know we got some big Soulsborne love in chat so y'all could do me a big solid go to Getchen's channel drop her an epic epic follow give her some incredible love she is incredible um you will not regret it absolutely she is amazing sauce <laughs> yo wild wolf with the epic follow thank you seriously so much my friend i super duper appreciate it you all are welcome here we got nothing but love and good vibes for everybody who is getchen i'm getting i'm getting some kappa faces some kappa faces do y'all think we should do our last round of puppy treats on zeph we were actually so we we're actually about to raid a moment ago um but then we just got epically raided so i think maybe to cap off the stream happy birth wait wait is this somebody's birthday wait a minute hold on is this somebody's birthday we have a tr we have a we have a tradition here when it's someone's birthday yo wait ahmed is it your boat is it your birthday <gasps> what okay everybody all right so when it is someone's birthday <laughs> happy born day when it is somebody's birthday we jam some happy birthday love on ukulele so everybody if we could get some hype in chat if we could get some love in chat for ahmed's birthday definitely give all the love definitely sing along let's give some happy birthday love my friends Everybody. Happy birthday, my friend. Hell to the yeah. You only turn this age once. So celebrate it. Treat yourself. Have a kick ass birthday, my friend. You absolutely deserve it hell to the yeah afternoon good afternoon lemon how you doing today my friend we just jamming some birthday love we just giving some love how's your day going though yeah i didn't even oh my goodness i did not even ask how was your stream how was sekiro how are you liking sekiro we were literally just talking about souls born a moment ago and sekiro so what are your thoughts on sekiro are you liking it so far you've gotten pretty pretty far into it right oh my goodness y'all y'all are just melting my mind here only a little baby stream today before I get ready for work and hopefully I mean maybe won't even be going to work much longer so <laughs> I don't know but Sekiro is amazing I love it so much hell yes I'm just at ooh, lady butterfly now I haven't played Sekiro myself but I have watched Dahlia play a lot of Sekiro I do know the lady butterfly she looks intense she looks really 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 damn intense so um bad, yeah badass lady butterfly we're talking the parries in Sekiro are different right with the sword it's kind of like a different vibe right compared to like parrying in in Dark Souls it was amazing I love it so much Dave it's been fab thank you Ooh, planning some secret things how are you doing I'm doing amazing sauce we just got raided by a legend we just got raided by two legends Getchen raided us a moment ago and then we also got raided by cyanide sugar a couple minutes ago and then it's just it's just all sorts of love today yeah Sekiro Perry is right blocking at just the right time I walked into the room and I was like oh shit I think I saw this on doll yes yes double raid hype double love all the craziness today's just been a crazy crazy day I would say be vague on anything at Sekiro in the event someone would like to play it spoiler free right right absolutely I know I'm probably gonna play Dark Souls 3 after Dark Souls 1 and then probably play Sekiro you've played you've played Bloodborne before right Getch, you've played you've played Bloodborne before. 
my first time so no spoilers no spoilers we are really good here about no spoilers at all um yeah no spoilers we don't like spoilers at all but my friends i know we just got double rated i know we got so much love here I oh you have not played bloodborne oh you got to got to got to play it my friend bloodborne is amazing 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 sauce hands down yes son of e you know exactly you know exactly what i was thinking actually you know who i see streaming right now i see another legend who is also playing some dark souls she's amazing she who are we bring in the love to today i have not raided her in so damn long i think yes i think y'all just can read my mind you all can just read my mind let's go raid want the soon to be partner of twitch dahlia the incredible the magnificent monkey she <laughs> right right being warrior so actually literally right before we just got raided i was about to end the stream just because i do got to get ready for work here because i'm opening here in like half an hour so a little bit of a baby stream today but seriously y'all i don't even have words thank you incredibly much for the love today thank you for the epic raids it is so appreciated i love you to pieces my friends you all are beautiful you all are amazing nothing but big love for everybody tomorrow we will actually play some dark souls and actually vibe to it um thank you thank you so much ahmed for coming in i hope you have a magnificent birthday you all are amazing um we're gonna go raid dahlia she is playing dark souls one and we're just gonna go give her all the damn love let's just throw out all of your favorite emotes all of your favorite zeph emotes um you can join the discord if you want to follow on twitch and twitter and all the cool places dank souls raid hype incoming um and y'all i just want you to know that you are absolutely i got so much love for you you make streaming so much fun so thank you all from the bottom of my heart nothing but big love for everybody let's get the hype going let's get the emotes ready let's go blow up her chat with all the good vibes my friend bring it i will see you all tomorrow let's go raid hype let's go